Hello, this is Derek at HunterBeaks.com. I'm at, well, I'm near the trailhead off to Bell Bluff, uh, Old Spanish Bit Trail, and I uh, wanted to get in a little bit before I actually started hiking because uh, the trailhead is actually right in between two homes, so I wanted to be respectful of the people that live here, so I didn't want to have too much noise. And uh, the cool thing about this is that uh, there's a stream right here, it's only a couple hundred feet from the trailhead, and somebody was kind enough to put a ladder here. I've heard from the previous trip reports that uh, you actually have to get your feet wet in order to get across, and I'm actually surprised that the, uh, the Sweetwater River, I believe this is called, is uh, actually this big, so I'm going to give you a little, a little look. Looks like it's going to be a pretty warm day today. It's already very warm. Uh, against my better judgment, I'm wearing shorts today, but just I'm worried about it's just going to be so hot, even though I know there's no bushwhacking coming up. So uh, I'm going to take it easy, <laughs> try to be careful when bushwhacking. And uh, I actually see some fish in the, in the that's true, and that's pretty cool. It's like some trout. And I see water striders, and I saw some quail back there. I've already, I've already seen some squirrels. So it's a pretty cool area so far, but I uh, better get going uh, so I don't bake too much in the heat. Well, I'm about to start bushwhacking. I'm at the foot of uh, Bell Bluff. It's a nice little hike up here. Uh, not too steep, just a slow, gradual climb, which is going to be uh, a pleasure on the way back down. It's nice to have that kind of downward slope where you can just kind of get a jog on the way back down, but uh, I found the open area just to the northwest of the actual uh, summit itself that uh, apparently there's going to be some green markers in here. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for them, and uh, supposedly there's some parents too, so I'll just kind of let you know what it looks like behind me. Uh, might be a little silhouetted, but um, today uh, definitely, definitely nice that the cloud cover has uh, stayed on here, so I'm not baking in the sun. However, it is extremely humid, and uh, once again, I am racing a little bit of weather because there is uh, a chance of a thunderstorm this afternoon, but it's pretty early yet, so I'm not anticipating uh, being caught in it at all. So I'm pretty close to the peak. Um, Although I know this last bit may take a while, take some bushwhacking. From what I understand, there's poison oak here and a lot of um, uh, head tall uh, bushes to go through. So uh, I have heard that once you find the use trail in here, uh, that it gets a little easy, but I heard it's, it's not really, really easy. So let me just give you a quick pano from the bottom. So here is the open area just off the trail. And supposedly there's some sort of path that leads up there. So yeah, Bell Bluff pretty much dominates this whole area here. So I'm going to head on up. Hi everybody, I made it to the top of Bell Bluff. Uh, the sun peaked out and got really, really hot. Uh, I had to search uh, back and forth across the hillside in order to be able to find the, um, the uh, flagged tr trail, if you want to call it a trail at the side. So I was bushwhacking for about an hour until I finally found that trail. It was very difficult to find. And uh, once I did, I made pretty decent time, but it was still pretty steep all the way up. And um, there is poison oak on this mountain, so uh, gotta, keep your, gotta keep an eye out for it. Uh, sometimes it was uh, almost dead, but uh, other times it was definitely green, so uh, it grows pretty low here. So just had to keep an eye on, eye out for it, and um, made it to the top. Uh, this is about as high as I'm going to get. I'm on the. Uh, there's some ants, very aggressive ants down here. Just want to make sure I'm not getting attacked. I believe they're fire ants. Um, they're all over the mountain. I felt like at times I was hiking through a stream of ants. Um, so uh, I have, as you can see, I have lots of uh, bushwhacking marks all over me. Uh, I believe this 
Uh, this peak did burn at one time, so that's why I'm covered with black. There's probably some soot uh, remaining on a lot of the sticks that I was bushwhacking through. Um, very happy to get here. Found some shade. It's nice and cool right here. There is a block just a little bit above me. I'll show you in a second, but uh, it's about class flat five. And not necessary in my opinion. I got here to the top. I have a great view of El Cajon Mountain, Viejas Mountain, uh, some of the reservoirs over there. And unfortunately, it's some uh, Sunrise Power Link construction, which I'll show you in just a second after I climb back out of here. Um, but uh, nice little hike. The first part was pretty easy. Uh, it's going to be nice heading back down. I don't know about uh, bushwhacking on the way down because I've only I only went on probably a third of the uh, the bushwhacking actual marked trail. So hopefully that'll be an easy way on the way down. I've heard from other trip reports that it is fairly easy on the way down. So I will be sure and. Uh, log that and make sure that I uh, describe that adequately so other people can find this trail easier than I did. Um, I did have a lot of beta that gave me clues as to where this would be but still I just could not find uh, the beginning the beginning trail. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick panel right now. As you can see I am in a little uh, surrounded by tall rocks here peeking out. This is from where I came came from over there, over there, but uh, there's another rock here that goes up, and I got a nice little framed view out here of some areas. This is a lake, forgot what lake it was, Sweetwater Reservoir, don't think so, I think that might be further back down there, I'll show you in just a little bit, but from here I do get a good view of uh, El Cajon Mountain and uh, Viejas Mountain, so uh, so I'm pretty happy to have found some shade. Uh, it's very rare that you'd be able to get to a peak and then find a shade. There is a nice cool breeze which is cooling uh, my sweat down. I'm completely covered with sweat because it's very humid today. And uh, uh, it was okay when there was the high clouds. But once the high clouds went away, the sun came out, it just uh, got really hot out here. So uh, I'm going to climb on out and I'll show you the Sunrise Power Link construction. So this is the Sunrise Power Link construction just to the east of uh, Bell Bluff. Uh, it's a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. Um, don't know what it's going to look like when it's done, but uh, it's definitely going to impact the view from this peak. How much it impacts the view of the people who live here, I don't know, but you know, I'm sure it will a little bit. Some peaks over there. Uh, I'm trying to think of what they might be. Uh, Long Valley Peak, perhaps. perhaps. Now, on the other side, you can see uh, Lawson and Gaskill, but not from here. Um, you can see the aid over there. So I am going to head back down. It's getting later and later and hotter and hotter, so it is time for me to get on going. Hope to see you on the trail.